right, everyone, we've got a lesson for you today on, um, this is a part two, if you will, to the lesson that we recently had on, uh, like interjections they are, or adverbial phrases. Um, some of them are actually uh, responses also to questions. Basically, these are most used phrases that are essential to uh, communication in Arabic, uh, and they, they cross over many different dialects. So you're going to find these in Egyptian. I'd say there's going to be, most of them are going to be Egyptian and, and other dialects as well, like the Gulf dialects. But um, the, the lesson is for, let me be clear, it is for Levant. It is for a specifically Jordanian Palestinian. For example, right here, uh, this is Jordanian, Ma'baraf, uh, okay, with the Fetha here. Now the Palestinian might would use a Kesra. Ma'baraf. Not much of a difference, right? But just so you know, that's, um, that's kind of what we're doing. We're specifically talking about the dialect here in, in uh, Jordan. Amen. Okay, so first off, we've got one. This one used a ton, and these are, should be known by every student, even through just memory. You should have these just a part of you. Uh, you should know them like the back of your hand. The first one is Mabadif. Mabadif. Um, and what you see written to the side here will mean the same thing essentially. Um, and it's uh, Mishadif. So if you were to look at these, for those of you who are intermediate, this is more of an intermediate lesson. Okay, so I'm not going to put the transliteration here with these. Um, we may slide them in the video if you request. Uh, but um, this. Ma baraf, ma baraf. The ma is a negation, okay, of a verb, and this is a present tense verb from irif, okay, which means which means he knew, all right. So it's not like fusha with knew in fusha. It's uh, you know you have actually two different words used, but here we have only one in amia that's used for knowing, and it is irif. He knew. So this is Mabaraf, and then Mish'arif. Now this is the ism fa'al. Basically, it's like a, um, a present participle, if you will. Mabaraf um, means, I don't know. All right? I don't know. All right? I don't know. Mabaraf. Because you have a fatha here above the ba, all right? Now that ba is just what we do with present tense verbs, if there's no helping verb, we will put this ba here. All right. Now, the ba with the fetha means ana. Okay. So, I don't know. Mabaraf. So, if somebody asks you, um, do, you um, uh, do you know uh, where somebody uh, lives or do you know where this restaurant is, you can say Mabaraf. Or, Shubhidak Tsawi Leon. What do you want to do today? Shubedek itsawi aliyom mabarif. So this is a response to a question. Uh, sometimes you can start it with a sentence too, just like we do in English. Um, I don't know um, what you want from me, or I don't know where I want to go. Something like that. Mabarif. All right. Now this is used in every circumstance. It has it's very wide uh, usage. Mish'arif is a little slightly used less because it's referring to more to things that happened in the past. So if you were to say something like, um, um, what, did, uh, uh, what did he say uh, to you yesterday? You could say, Mish'arif shu ali, Mish'arif shu haka. All right, and sometimes too, depending on the usage, you have to finish it with something. So it's not enough just to say mish'arif all the time. Sometimes you have to say mish'arif anno. I don't know about him or what about that. So this one, I would say it's more uh, advanced, if you will. I mean, it's used by a lot of beginners. But if you really get down to brass tacks and details, this one is a little more complicated. It's better for you just to use Mabarif, okay? Uh, but the, the meaning gets across same here too, and it's the same exact meaning, I don't know, Mishadif. Now, all the rest, though, they're not going to have this type of dynamic, okay? Let's see the next one. 
ما عندي فكرة ما عندي فكرة ما عندي فكرة Okay So it means I have no idea So now you're strengthening what you're saying I have no idea All right Obviously, this is going to be used a lot because not only do you not know, but you have no idea. <laughs> so it's a lot, yani aqua. You don't have any idea. And this can be used, of course, as a standalone, just like my Um But it's going to be a response. So, um, ma'andi fikra. All right, somebody says to you, um, 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 where is. Um, all right, where is the, where is hotel, whatever. Ma'andi fikra. All right, so this is a little bit, it can be a little bit rude, obviously, just like the English. Um, but usually, um, it's, this one's used quite a bit for responses and stuff like that. All right, um, the next one, fish da'i. Fish da'i. And ma fi da'i. Ma fi da'i. Okay, they're the exact same meaning, mean the same thing, and what it means in English, all right, is you carry the idea of um, it's not necessary, or there's no need, there's no need, okay, those two sentences pretty much wrap it up, what it, this means, fish die, so, uh, can I help you with something or somebody wants to grab your bag at the airport and you don't want them to grab your bag or you don't need any help um, because you know they just want a big tip <laughs> you could say fish day uh, that's possible there's more of a polite ways to say it but fish day means there isn't it's not necessary or there's no need mafi day and so we can start sentences too with this we can say mafi day in the there's no need for you to come today. No need for you to come today. Ma fi da'i nek tiji. Ma fish da'i in nek tiji. Okay? So, fish da'i. All right? Um, now, there, we, there's, I don't think that it's, I've ever heard it used where they, people would say, fi da'i. Okay? There is a need. That, that doesn't compute. It does not use. So we're always, this is when you find da'i, it's going to be found in a negation circumstance, okay? Just so you know that. All right, next one. Mishfer'a or mishferga mai. Or mishferga andi. Same thing. You can use this preposition or ma, or you can use and that preposition, all right? Now, this one. You can, of course, say, you can be talking about somebody else. You can say, mish fer, yani mish fer a ma'o. It doesn't matter to him. And that's what it means. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay? It doesn't matter to me. Okay? It doesn't matter to me. Is me more precise. To me. Mish fer a Ferga mai. I'll mish fer a mai. Mish. Now, let me just say something about this. Mish. You see the ma there? That's used. These. Um, usually, like this one, ma is used with a verb. Sometimes it can be used with uh, possessive like this, andi. But usually what happens is it's used with a verb. Now, if you go down here, this is really... A ma, all right, with the ish on the end. The sheen on the end of something is also a negation. It's used with verbs, like uh, la tahkish, all right. La tahki plus the sheen is just simply a double negative, but it's totally proper in Arabic. So here you're going to say mish fera. That's like a negation for a what? A non-verb, all right. Negation for non-verb. Now. This one we saw above here, see that? That's also a negation, fish. And it basically is a shortening of what? This one, mafi. Mafi and fish are the same, okay? Mafi and fish are the same. So, fi, and then I'm negating it. Fi means, th means there is, okay? 
there is. Now here it means there is not. There's no is what it means. There's no. Fish masari. There's no money. All right? No money. Raho and masari. Fish masari. All right? Here, mish, mish is also a negation. All right? For ferga. Now, ferga, all right, is basically means... Um, It doesn't map tifrig, uh, map tifrig or ma bifrig, and you can use these also for masculine. You could say mishfarig or mishfarig, farig mai, or ma bifrig mai, or tifrig. It doesn't matter. Um, these, they're from the verb um, fedet, okay, fedet, which means like there is a difference. Okay, it makes no difference to me. Is basically the the harfi and the the meaning. The specific meaning is makes no difference to me, and it's not usually that. It's not as rude as sometimes as we would use it in the English. Okay, like it doesn't make any difference to me. All right, but it is used a lot. All right, it doesn't matter to me or it makes no difference to me. Okay, next one. All right, hopefully you're following along. Last two, stick with me. A fikra or ala fikra. Now, this one means basically these two, the next one, they're going to be um, kind of like interject, not interjections. They're going to start or present the idea that you want to say or the sentence. And here's what they are in English. A fikra is... Mm, uh, on that thought. Kind of like that. On that thought, or by the way, afikra. Well, it's not really by the way. It's more like on that thought. But you would say like, afikra, jibmak, jibmak kursi. Okay? Afikra, jibmak il akil, a wajbe. So, afikra means. Um, by the way, or on that thought, okay, bring jib mak with you, bring with you a chair, kursi, okay, kursi, or jib mak wajbe, a meal, all right, a fikra or ala fikra. Now, you've noticed here, it's like, what is this? This is a letter just out in the middle of nowhere. That, that can't be in fusha. Well, you're right, it can, but in amiya, it can. It is a shortening of ala. So that's what a is. It's just a shortening. So it's you're taking this and you're making it into just a to be quicker. So a fikra, you're shortening ala. A fikra or ala fikra, they're both used a lot. Same meaning. All right, last one. Ala kul hal. Or, of course, a kul hal. Now, Hal uh, means like, uh, circ like circumstance, okay? Hal, or condition, all right? So you'd say, kif halo, or kif halak, how is your condition, or how are you doing? This is used a lot. So those of you who are beginners, you've heard this word. You've heard it when you say, kif halak, marhaba, hello, how are you? Kif halak. So, ala kul hal, or akul hal, we basically it means um, anyway, or it could mean uh, in any case, in any case. All right. So if you would say in any uh, uh, anyway, I just wanted to say hello. All right. Or in any case, um, uh, I need you to call him. يعني uh, tomorrow. على كل حال بدي اياك بتحكي معه بكره. Alright. على كل حال. Alright. Anyway or in any case. Also, some people will say a kullin or على kullin. Now, kullin, this is a tanween kesir. Kullin. That's why you have that sound in there. Alright. It's kind of like diamond. Diamond does not have a noon in it. It has a tenween. It has a tenween fetah, all right, which makes it 
daimen, en. This is an in, all right, like I in, in. So kullin, ala kullin, all right. In any case, I'll see you tomorrow. Ala kul hal, bushufak bukra, all right. So, in any case, or always, or anyway, excuse me, not always, anyway, all right. Now, all of these used a ton. You need to know them, and I gave them to you today. I want you to just take a look at these and study them. And I guarantee you, you will hear these talked, said all the time. You'll hear people talking around you and you'll, you'll catch up. These are used, catch on quickly. These are used all the time. So enjoy them. And we'll see you back here next time for another lesson from C.G. Jordan. I'm Farid. And uh, we'll see you next time, inshallah. Bye-bye.